want to talk about this story because I think it's really important, and it's a very interesting sports book story coming out of the Bellagio. Now, as you know, there hasn't been a lot of sports to bet on in the last several months, but if you're a degenerate gambler like my friend Chris Wynn, he'll bet on Korean baseball. He'll bet on Korean soccer. I didn't even know they had Korean soccer. He'll bet on table tennis. He will bet on how big his dump was last night. I mean, this guy will bet on anything, and that's okay because I'm actually very similar to him in some ways, not always. But uh, anyway, we're talking about Korean baseball. So what happened was there was a game that was scheduled by the Bellagio to start at around 3 a.m. But here's what happened. The actual game started at 1 a.m. Now, the Bellagio didn't have anybody live taking bets, but they have kiosks, and I believe there's a phone app. So bettors that were up that late betting on Korean baseball noticed that the Bellagio was still offering a bet on Korean baseball in the fifth inning. The score was 1-0, and they had bets up there first five innings. So when you see a team is up 1-0 in the fifth inning, you can bet the under. You can bet on that team that was up 1-0. I think it was the Dinos, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so a lot of people. Dinos. The Dinos. Did I say Dinos? Because uh, I'm a Celtics fan. I'm thinking of Dino Raja. That's a, that's a 90s reference to the Boston Celtics. So among the bets was a $250 10-leg parlay. It paid $137,000. There were a bunch of people that put a lot of bets in at that time. And guess what? If you were one of those people, you got paid. So think about it. You're at home. You're on your phone, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning. You're looking for something to bet on. You look at this Korean baseball game, and it says on the Bellagio, Bellagio it says it hasn't started yet. Then you turn on your TV, and you see, wait a second, it's in the fifth inning. You're damn right I would be on my phone placing a bet. By the way, that's happened to me a couple times where I have placed bets. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There are people saying, oh, I don't think I would go that far because you're stealing. No, you're not. The sports books take advantage of people every day. They put bets up there, and they put lines up there taking advantage of people. You have one opportunity maybe in a year, maybe in two years, three years, to maybe take advantage of the book for making a mistake, and you're telling me it's wrong to do that? Screw you. Screw you. I'm going to tell you right now, every single dollar that is in my bank account, if I saw a sports book that kept a game up there, and that game was at halftime, and I thought I had an advantage in betting, I would have bet every dollar in my bank account on that, and I would have left with a smile on my face. Thank you, Bellagio. Appreciate it. You might want to fire that guy who made that mistake, but I hope you make another mistake because I'll take advantage of it again. These sports books and these casinos, they take advantage of people every day. The one time we have an opportunity to take advantage of you, we're the bad guys. Screw you. No. Screw you. No. I would have gone up and I would have said, excuse me, sir or ma'am. It appears that as though you've made a terrible error that could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, right. And then I would call you the hall monitor. I would have smacked you in the face if you did that. No, seriously, folks. Somebody made a mistake. It happens. The customer shouldn't have to pay for it. Now, listen, the Bellagio could say, we'll cash in your ticket, but you can't play here anymore. I'd say, fine, screw you. There's a million other sports books I can go to. It's like I walked into a strip club, right? <laughs> what a stupid analogy, but I'm going to do it anyway. You walked into a strip club, and you're getting a lap dance. The stripper, it's her first day. She's beautiful. You're having a great time. She's charging you $10 per lap dance. She gives you 10 lap dances, right? My math is right. That's $100 if you don't tip. And then the manager comes up after and says, she should have charged you $20 per lap dance, or you owe her another 100 no, sorry, well, you can't come here anymore. Okay, no problem. There's other strip clubs to go to. See you later. That's not my fault you have an employee that's incompetent. Sorry. Yeah, but I'm the bad guy. Let me tell you something. For every single one of those people that took advantage of a mistake by the Bellagio, kudos to you. Congratulations. I'd give you a, a gold star if I could, an award. I think it's really funny that <laughs> there, I mean, there couldn't have been very many people. And, and lost a quarter of a million from, dollars. From, That's a no, lot. No, no, I know. I, I get that. But like that, that there that there were people between the hours of one and three in the morning. Now you said these people were. were this was an app. They were doing it from home. I, there I, were probably I some people so, yep. in the book too, right? Yep. Were they? Could they possibly have been in the casino at the, at the book at the time? I, I don't know. But let well, me just anyway, say this. one to three in the morning, one, and they're watching Korean baseball and yeah. placing bets. I think that's kind one of idiot 
I'd love to know who this executive is. One idiot at the Bellagio is quoted in the Review Journal as saying, this is what he said, an executive who said, the betters will be identified 100% and prosecuted. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. We made the mistake. We screwed up in our sports book. But you're going to prosecute a, a, a better for taking advantage of your incompetence? Good luck with that. I'm so sick of these casinos crying foul. I'm so sick of it, for lack of a better term. You guys made the mistake. The betters took advantage of your incompetence. Pay them the money. You take advantage of your customers every single day with your lines of minus 110 both ways. We get one situation that comes up, and you want, you want customers to be prosecuted? Screw you. Screw you. David Schwartz from, the, uh, from UNLV. He runs the gaming center over there. I had a brief conversation with him on, on email. He said, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm not sure what recourse the casinos can have. They may feel the players cheated, but the players didn't use any devices. They just merely exploited a vulnerability. Yeah, and the, guess what? There's nothing wrong with that. It's no different than a card counter, right? If you go in there and you're, you know, you're taking advantage of a situation, it's why I, I've always supported Phil Ivey. And I don't want to get into the Phil Ivey thing, but Phil Ivey was in Atlantic City, and he's been in a few casinos. And he wanted a certain type of cards used because he could read the cards on the back by the contours of the cards. He took advantage of their stupidity, and some moron judge threw the case out, and Ivy never got paid. That is injustice. Phil Ivy deserves that money. And every single person who took advantage of the incompetence of the Bellagio Sportsbook should be able to take that money, go home, and have a smile on your face. You did absolutely nothing wrong. There is a fine line between walking up to a teller with a gun and committing an armed robbery and going up to a, a kiosk or something and placing a bet on a game that already started because somebody at the Bellagio made a mistake. It is on the Bellagio. You guys need to eat the money. It was your fault. Don't make the mistake again, but if you did, I'll be the first one in line to place a bet. I'll tell you that right now. The Bellagio don't want me there. I'll be the first one in line to place a bet. It's just unbelievably ridiculous. Congratulations to all those customers for taking advantage of the incompetence of one sportsbook person who didn't know how to put up a line or didn't know what the time a professional Korean baseball game started. Kudos to all of you. And by the way, if you are one of those people that, that cashed in, please email our producer, producer at thevegastake.com. We would love to hear from you. Trust me, I am on your side.